All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is start with a circle. That's how we start with most of our characters. Uh, it might be a little bit big. Again, that's another good reason to draw light. And this circle is just squished down just a little bit. It's a slight oval for widget. And we can kind of start darkening that in right now because her circle is going to stay a circle. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and draw in the center line that's a little bit curved from where her face is gonna be because she's gonna be facing this way. And so we'll, again, just go really light with that one. And I'm actually gonna put one over here as well, and that's gonna be the side of her screen. It just kinda helps to uh, show how far she's looking and how far she's turned. Widget is actually pretty simple. Um, if you've seen our video on Gizmo, we're basically just drawing Gizmo's head with wings. That's kind of how uh, Widget was designed. We'll go ahead and start with the face on this one. We'll go ahead and do the big eyes, oval eyes. And then we'll go ahead and do a little oval nose, but it's a sideways oval right in between there. And then Widget's smile is not gonna be quite as big as Gizmo's. We're just gonna do a little crescent moon that's actually a little bit taller like that. And it's okay if it kind of extends past the edge of her screen there, if she's smiling kind of big. And then we, we do see just the top little piece of her screen tilted down there, coming off the top of her head. Go ahead and darken those lines. And because Widget is female, we do have, it's very subtle, but we have a, a very slight um, extra thickness on the top of her eyes to kind of imply just really subtle eyelashes. So we kind of try to make that the top just a little bit thicker than the bottom. We'll go ahead and put in her pupils, which again are gonna be kind of perfect circles, as perfect as we can get. You can see I'm doing it over and over and over again to try to get as round as possible. So there's kind of most of Widget. Now we'll go ahead and start tackling her flight apparatuses. So Widget has kind of two giant wings on top and two little triangular fins on the bottom. So we'll start with just kind of roughing in the big wings up here, but just by doing really light um, ovals that are kind of a little bit straight on one side, just to try to kind of get the sizing. And they kind of look like bunny ears a little bit before we turn them into wings. So again, really like to try to figure out kind of how big they should be. And then the other thing is we want to kind of make sure that they are pointing into the same uh, direction here, pointing into the same spot. And then we're going to do the same kind of thing down here with these fins, which are kind of like big triangles. Again, I want those to kind of point in toward her center there. Looks pretty good. So these triangles are a little bit rounded. So this side we're gonna curve, and this side we're gonna curve. Again, that's why it's good to always start light. Turn this. One of the really cool things about Widget She's actually designed by Jonathan Fobbs, who's our music composer on the show. I wanted to make Widget a humanoid robot with arms and legs, and it was looking super weird. And so Jonathan came up with this, and I loved it. So we just go ahead and draw these little sticks in here to kind of connect the fins to her body. And then she has these little design, kind of decorative areas here on the fins, and we those are symmetrical, so one points this way, one points that way. And those are her fins, so now we'll go ahead and tackle the wings up here. So to start off, I'm gonna kind of put the, the bottom edge here on both of them. 
And then I'm gonna do this line because it's kind of the straighter of the two. Just a big line there on the edge, but it's still a little rounded. And we'll do the same over here. This one might actually be coming off the page a little bit. That's okay. And then we'll also connect those, with our little sticks. Okay, so this, this is the tricky part. So we're gonna kind of do, it's not just a, a darkening of this line that's here. There's a, it's kind of a really subtle um, S curve, if you will. So we're gonna kind of start off coming up like this side is, but then we're gonna dip in here, right about there, halfway through, and kind of start curving the other way a little bit. Connect that. And then we'll do the same thing over here. We'll start kind of the same way and then cut in and curve back. And we'll go ahead and leave the top of that one off the page. And then there's secondary wings that kind of come off the back of those. So again, we'll start just drawing a really light oval, kind of show where those will be. And those are more uh, standard ovals with a little bit of edge there. All right, so kind of like how her fins have these little decorative things down here, her wings do as well. And this is kind of an opposite S curve up here. Just come along. We want to make sure that that doesn't match up with the little stick line there, so we'll kind of move that over a little bit. And just give her that extra little decoration there. And finally, we have Widget's eyebrows, which again are going to be off of her screen. She's very excited. Let's go ahead and do those curved lines. We'll go ahead and make her just a little bit more excited by putting in some lower eyelids here. Show that she's really excited. And we'll also imply a little bit of motion by just putting some action lines in her uh, wings and fins like she's excited, shaking with excitement, because Widget's always very excited. And of course, we're going to finish it off by signing our name. There you have it, Widget. <laughs>